والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي ربي زدني علما today's topic is the most important topic uh, that is weak verbs al af'al al mu'tal because the rest of the topics depend on this important lesson because if you understand what exactly uh, are the weak verbs and the categories of them then it becomes easy for you to understand the uh, future lessons about the weak verbs so let's begin a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim uh, as you all know there are two main types of verbs in arabic which we learned in our previous lessons that al af'al which is divided into al af'al as sahiha that is sound verbs and the second one is al af'al al mu'tal weak verbs al af'al as sahiha the sound verbs are further divided into regular sound verbs and irregular sound verbs right and we all know about the regular sound verbs um, they don't have a waw or a ya or an alif as one of the three root letters okay and the weak letters are three weak letters alif waw and ya okay there are vowels in arabic so the regular sound verbs they don't have a waw or a ya or an uh, or an alif in them uh, for example we learned about the six babs that is fa'ala yaf'alu daraba yadribu qatala yaqtulu sami'a yasma'u karuma yakrumu fataha yaftahu right and the irregular sound verbs we learned in our previous lessons and they are further divided into two types mahmuz and mudaqqaf the sound verbs as salim uh, are the verbs which does not have a hamza or an alif or a waw or a ya as one of the radicals and its second and third radicals are not identical as well that is of the same kind that's why it's called as sound verb al af'al as sahiha or al af'al as salim most of the arabic verbs belong to this category and we have learned the six different babs that is fa'ala yaf'alu sami'a yasma'u daraba yadribu qatala yaqtulu fataha yaftahu karuma yakrumu and the irregular sound verbs there are further divided into two types mahmuz hamzated verbs and mudaaf double lettered verbs al af'al al mahmuz or hamzated verbs where a hamza is one of the consonants right we learned in our previous lesson that is uh, for example akala yaakulu the next type of irregular sound verbs is mudaaf that is geminate or doubled verbs where the second and the third radicals of the root are the same for example we had madda ya muddu let's move to the weak verbs al af'al al mu'tal and they are further divided into three types mithal ajwaf and naqis okay and just remember the first letter is m that is m for mithal and the second letter is ajwaf that is a and the third letter is naqis that is n you can remember it as man m a n okay so mithal ajwaf and naqis okay and mithal is further divided into two categories mithal wawi and mithal yai okay mithal wawi and mithal yai an example for mithal wawi is wa'ada ya'idu you can see the weak letter waw is in the beginning it's wa'ada and in mithal yai ya'isa the ya is in the beginning ya'isa and in the second type ajwaf this is further divided into three categories ajwaf wawi ajwaf yai and ajwaf with alif and the example is for ajwaf wawi is qala yaqulu and for ajwaf yai the example is zada yazidu and for ajwaf with alif is khafa yakhafu weak letter is in the ain kalima the second radical 
and in methyl the weak letter was in the first radical naqis is further divided into four categories naqis wawi naqis yai naqis sa'a naqis laqiya this is divided based on the different bab if it belongs to nasara yansuru then it is naqis wawi like we have da'a yad'u and naqis yai is hada yahdi daraba yadribu ab and naqis sa'a is sa'a yasa'a fataha yaftahu bab last type naqis the example is laqiya yalqa so this is sami'a yasma'u bab okay so this is the overview of the weak verbs and in our coming lessons we are going to learn in detail about mithal wawi with uh, madi chart mudari chart amar nahi madi majhul mudare majhul and uh, jazima and nasiba verbs and all those things with quranic examples and the extra vocabulary for each of these like mithal wawi is a separate lesson mithal yai is a separate lesson ajwaf wawi ajwaf yai ajwaf with alif they are all separate lessons al af'al al mu'tal the unsound verbs why are they not sound verbs because the they have the weak letters in them most arabic uh, verbs that is fi'l have only three letters which are called as radicals the first radical is fa that is fa kalima right and the second radical is ain ain kalima and the third radical is lam that is lam kalima and these names are taken from the verb fa'ala which is used as a reference pattern for all the verbs okay whereas the weak verbs al mu'tal the unsound verbs this is called as mu'tal if any of the three radicals is either an alif or a waw or a ya then the verb is called as mu'tal or weak verb or sick or unsound verb the letters alif waw or ya are called in arabic as huruf al illa okay huruf al illa are called as weak letters example you can see yasara to ease wasala to arrive radiya to be pleased daa to call or invite waqa to save and here you can see that there are weak letters waw ya and alif in different positions yasara is at the beginning and daa the alif is at the end right so depending on the positions they are divided into different categories there are three different classes of weak verbs al mu'tal the first type is al fi'l al mithal that is assimilated verbs a uh, mithal is an irregularity when the first letter is a weak letter wow verbs where the first radical is a long vowel usually a wow okay for example we have wa'ada ya'idu a mithal verb is that whose first letter is weak and mithal is again divided into two types the first type is mithal wawi and then we have mithal yai the mithal verbs always starts with a waw or a ya and the example for mithal wawi is wa'ada ya'idu notice that the weak letter is at the beginning in the fa kalima the fa radical and mithal yai the weak letter ya is at the beginning ya isa and the next type is ajwaf okay al fi'l al ajwaf is called as hollow verb ajwaf or hollow verb is that whose second or middle letter that is ain kalima is a weak letter most ajwaf verbs have an alif as its second or middle letter the origin of the middle alif is mostly a waw or a ya that is turned into an alif if you look at the examples qala right if you say qala what do you see in the uh, in the middle what is the ain radical alif right so you might see this is alif but the origin of this alif is a waw or a ya that has turned into an alif okay inshallah we are going to learn in detail the ajwaf is further divided into three categories the first category is ajwaf wawi 
and the second category is ajwaf yai and the third category is ajwaf with alif verbs where the second radical is either a waw that is ajwaf wawi qala yaqulu ain kalima or the second radical is ya this is called as ajwaf yai and the example is zada yazidu okay and if the second radical uh, or an ain kalima is an alif that is called as khafa yakhafu and these are few verbs in which the waw or ya are not turned into alif and the example for ajwaf wawi is qala yaqulu you can see qala the middle radical is having an alif this is actually a waw or a ya and we are going to learn in detail what exactly it is in our coming lessons and in ajwaf yai the middle radical is an alif again and the mudhari is yazidu zada yazidu and ajwaf with alif khafa yakhafu and again we have an alif in the middle radical so this is ajwaf or hollow word the third type of weak word that is al fa'al al mu'tal is naqis naqis is called as defective word naqis the weak letter occurs at the end naqis is further divided into four types naqis wawi naqis yai naqis sa'a naqis laqiya and the first category is verbs with a waw as the last root letter and this we are going to learn in lesson 24 inshallah and the example is da'a ya da'u which means to call da'a and where is the weak letter occurring here in the lam radical like da'a dal ain and alif it is at the lam radical and the second type is verbs with a ya as the last root letter and this is of the form uh, hada yahdi and this we are going to learn in lesson 25 hada yahdi is to guide okay and the third type is verbs with a ya as the last root letter okay and for this we are going to learn in lesson 26 and the example is sa'a yas'a to strive after and the last type of naqis is verbs with a ya as the last root letter and this we are going to learn in lesson 27 of unit 2 inshallah and the example is laqiya yalqa and how is this divided into four categories is depending on the bab naqis wawi it belongs to da'a yad'u nasara yansuru bab naqis yai hada yahdi this belongs to daraba ya duribu ba and naqis sa'a ya sa'a belongs to fataha yaftahu ba and naqis laqiya yalqa belongs to sami'a yasma'u ba okay so that's how it's divided into four different categories and there's one more category called lafif okay where there are two uh, weak letters okay here we just learned about only one weak letter coming right either at the beginning or at the in the middle or at the end fa kalima ain kalima or lam kalima right but there is one more category called as lafif where you have two weak verbs al fi'l al lafif this is the fourth type of weak verb lafif means a verb which has two weak letters in its root form when there are two letters out of three that are vowels the irregularity is called as lafif the letters that make a verb thick or weak are what alif waw and ya and lafif means two letters out of three are weak there are two kinds of lafif based on the position of the weak letters the first one is lafif mafruq where the first root letter and the last root letter fa kalima and the lam kalima are having the weak letters or vowels that is called as lafif mafruq and the second type is lafif maqroon okay where the second root letter and the third root letters are vowels or the um, ain radical and the lam radical or the ain kalima or the lam kalima are having the weak letters alif waw or ya and this is called as lafif maqroon sound verb and then we have weak verb and then in weak uh, in sound verb we have the mahmuz the hamzated verb 
and then we have the muda of the double lettered word the regular sound word right and then we have the weak verb we have man misal na ajwaf and naqif and also lafif try literal verbs thulathi mujarrad and they are divided into afal as sahiha and we have al afal al mu'tal in al afal as sahiha it is divided into the sound verbs salim that do not have a weak letter that is fataha nasara daraba sami'a karuma right so these are irregular verbs we have mudaaf and mahmuz and we also learned about the examples madda yamuddu and for hamzated verbs we have amara qara'a and uh, sa'ala and the weak verbs are divided into man mithal ajwaf naqis can someone explain what is mithal where does the weak letter occur at the first the weak letter occurs at the fa kalima and ajwaf the ain kalima what letter and for the nafis the weak letter appears on the lam kalima what about lafif lafif uh, in that we have two weak letters so it can be uh, the first and the third or the second and the third mashallah right. so jazakallah khairan everyone for your time may allah subhanahu wa taala accept it and increase us all in knowledge subhana rabbika rabbil izati amma yasifun wa salamun alal mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin